Thanks. Deadly and dangerous. We've been following it for a long time now. Addiction, meth addiction, production and distribution certainly not slowing down at the very least. New tonight, the latest figures detailing meth-related busts show the appetite for the toxic drug. Since January, state police have busted 527 labs. The most is in Delaware County with 42, but others in the metro area registered double digits as well, including Tippecanoe, Miami, Madison, Monroe, and Johnson counties. Now, our Call 6 investigative team has been looking at the cost of cleaning up a home contaminated by meth, and Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us live with the very latest on this story. Rafael. Uh, Todd, right now there are hundreds of homes off limits unable to have people inside. They are drenched with the toxic cocktail of those chemicals used to make meth. Now, we suited up and followed a state-certified team inside a house that no one can rent or buy. It's a precaution that crews must take to protect their health and save a home. James Plessinger is suited for what can't be done with a regular vacuum. He's sweeping up particles left behind by meth contamination, including this backpack zone where kids dropped off their book bags. This is among the many key steps that precious cleaning crews take to decontaminate a home. You have to pay attention to every little thing. You can't miss one part of one room because then that could reinfect the whole house. This is one of the many properties in central Indiana where a county health department won't let anyone live until the meth pollution is removed. It gets into all the floors, all the walls, the ceiling. Remember, it's smoke, so it's going in your fans. It's going in the HVAC system. It's going everywhere in the house itself. The levels in this house exceed state-mandated environmental safety guidelines. Here's a quick tour. The HVAC system is 16 times the accepted levels. The living room, seven times. This child's bedroom, twice the level. All a health hazard. So this is where the meth was cooked. Cleaning up this house, it's going to take a long time because every room must be cleaned. Every wall, every door, every ceiling must be cleared in some way. It could take at least three weeks to clear this one house. As you can see, it's a labor-intensive process. One final step is the spraying of this chemical to make sure the meth is zapped away. Once it dries, the surfaces are tested. Results must come back negative before county and state regulators can be positive with letting anyone move back in. People might know that it's bad to smoke it and it's bad to cook it. I'm sure people know that, but I don't know if they realize just how much they're affecting everyone else around them. Uh, so consider this cleanup cost of a home depends on the size and the level of the contamination up to ten thousand dollars as possible even greater depending again on the size of that home all homes busted for meth since 2007 must undergo a cleanup that meets state requirements that is the latest at 11 rafael sanchez rtv6